Hi everyone and welcome back. Hope everything is great. You know who this is. Yeah. Yes. Hi there. How are you? Please like the video. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, everyone doesn't know how, who you are. Mm. Even if that's strange. I think they are. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm Rotten Rebel. I'm happy to be here with Sandra Solomon Fragrance. Yes. And we are going to do a beautiful comparison. We are. Mm. We are going to compare some of the best from Parfums de Marly. Yeah. Um, and this is going to be tough because we have the Lina. Oof. And so we good. have the latest one, Oriana. Mm. And the question is... The question is not if these are good, because these are yeah, both amazing. Are epic, yeah. But which one is better? Yes. So we're going to find out and decide. And this is going to be interesting because I love them both. Yes, and me too. So uh, if you spray on some Delina on mm. the strip, I'm going to read you the notes. In the top, lychee, rhubarb, bergamot and nutmeg. Then we have some Turkish rose, peony, musk, petalia and vanilla. And then we have cashmere, and cedar, Haiti and vetiver and incense. Whoa. Yes. And I... Hmm. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Oh no, what? But uh, uh, the juice in this one no. is barely, barely exists. <sighs> so by the end of this review, not only are we going to crown one of these as being the no. best, he but is also, going to buy me a new one as well. But you also have to to tell everyone if you are going to buy a new bottle of that one. So how do you feel about it? I mean, I fell in love with Delina from the first time I sniffed it. Uh, to me, this is so beautiful with the lychee and the rhubarb in the opening. And then comes the rose. And yeah. wow, this yeah. is really, this is a really elegant and well-made fragrance yes. that works for every occasion. The only thing common for these occasions is that you will feel amazing. Yes. You will feel so elegant, so beautiful, yet playful because of that fruity tart side. Mm. So, uh, I mean, I get the rose, I get the yeah. fruity side of it. I don't get the massive dose of the nutmeg either. So if you don't like that one, I don't feel it's going to be a problem, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Um, but this to me is really focused on the rose together with the musk, the vanilla, yeah. uh, the sort of a slight hint of woodiness at the base. Uh, just beautiful. Yeah. Just beautiful. So this is, it's very light, fruity and airy, but at the same time it does have this deep, yes. woody, beautiful base. Yeah, and there's I think definitely that's what depth makes to it, it special. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel you can use this. This to me is something you can pretty much use this at work on a yes. date, wherever, yes. whenever, and you will smell amazing. I also don't feel that even though this one has depth to it, it is a, a fragrance that is not deep, which no. also makes it even more versatile. Yes. And you will pretty much, I, I'm gonna say that you will smell amazing to most people. Yes, and even though it is kind of light and not deep, as you said, the performance on the Lina is really mm. great. So they have did something that Ma many brands can't handle mm. making a light one that actually sticks on your skin nice. and this does so awesome performance yeah. we both love the smell yes this one is really rosy musky a sweet bit tart yeah, yeah yeah so let's move on to the other one yes. then. so uh, if you spray on some oriana mm. and i would I... be surprised if this one is empty as well because you recently got it it might be but almost I would be empty. Impressed though. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you always get impressed when I empty my bottles yes. and I get stressed because these are expensive. So let's start with the notes. Mandarin, orange, grapefruit and bergamot. Then some orange blossom, some raspberry mm. and blackcurrant. Marshmallow, whipped cream, musk and ambrette. Yeah. How good is it? So, 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 so mm. good. My so God. I clearly pick up the orange blossom, that raspberry, a bit of black currant, yeah. the marshmallow, yes, it's yes, all over yes. it. The whipped cream, yes, yes, yes. So that duo, oh my, oh my. And then we have the musk uh, at the base. This one uh, is to me, even though it's not super powdery, there's yeah. something powdery about yeah. it, uh, and it's definitely sweet 
with the marshmallow whipped cream blend. Yeah. With an added sort of a fruity touch to it. And creamy. Yes. Very creamy. So I feel that even though you could find something that they both of these share, maybe it's that sort of slight powderiness or something. Yeah. I do feel that they are completely different sort of a fragrances. Yeah, this I one agree. is rose focused. It has a bit of fruitiness. Both share that musk, uh, but this one is just different. Yes. So how do you feel about that one? Um, I think this is amazing. This smells like something I want to eat. It's like, yeah, just give me the candy that smells, uh, that tastes like this smells. Mm. Um, very versatile, um, very strong if you over spray, spray. So you don't need so many with this one. Mm. And I would say this is more of a sexy fragrance than an elegant fragrance. Mm. More sexy and playful. Yeah, definitely. And the Lina is like the elegant, playful one. Yes, yes. So, uh, I mean, it, just the fact that this one it has rose in it uh, makes it a bit more sort of, um, I, I don't want to say traditional, but maybe you get my yeah. point. So, yeah, I agree with you that uh, Oriana is definitely more uh, playful. To me, it's also definitely more sexy. Uh, it's hard to compare these because they have quite uh, different personalities. Yes, both they do. are. Uh, it's like the friend you have two different friends. You love them both, but they have so different kinds of personalities. Yeah, one is like a bit crazy. Yeah, crazy sexy. Well, wait, wait. I don't know. Oh me. Yeah. Oh thank the cra you. No, crazy yeah, the sexy. crazy part. Yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I thought it was crazy sexy. No, Not cra just crazy. Just crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> is that good or bad? I don't know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, this is hard, and I think just comparing them, I do feel that based, you really need to think how, what you enjoy in fragrances. Yeah. And uh, I love them both, but. Honestly, right now, I think I lean a bit more towards Oriana because I have a sweet tooth. I, I love sexy in fragrances and that one to me is more sexy. I was uh, actually kind of uh, expecting you to go with yeah, Oriana yeah. because you have that sweet tooth yeah. and you really like these kind of fragrances. Um, and what is interesting is that sometimes we women, we choose fragrances that we love and that other women love. But the fact is that that is not always what men appreciate on mm. a woman. But you should go, go with what you like the most yourself. Um, and I think I actually lean more Ooh. towards Delina. Ooh. Because this elegance and this playfulness, I mean, it's not often you find that combination in fragrances. Mm. And what I think is so amazing with Delina that I haven't smelled in any other fragrance is that it, it's sweet and it's tart. Mm. And that tart, I love to eat tart things. Mm -hmm. So to smell tart things is just, yeah, like nice. a dream. So um, we can just conclude that it's a tie, mm. uh, yeah. but Rotten Rebel really yeah, I prefer Oriana. prefers Oriana. Yeah. But you wouldn't be sad if a woman had Delina No, on. honestly, I mean, if I had a girlfriend, uh, then I would most likely buy her both. Uh, because, or at least introduce her to both, because I do feel that they can coexist in a fragrance yes, collection. Yes. Both are amazing, like you said, both have, have really good performance. This one is sort of a more rose dominated with that sort of a fruity yeah. and musky aspect. This one is way more sweet, almost dessert-like. Yeah. So I feel, I mean, why not own them both? You can use the Lina more as your sort of a daytime or everyday kind of fragrance like yeah. your signature and then when you're going out with your girlfriends or on a date or something put on Oriana. Yes so um, I actually agree and um, if you are going to buy one of them first I would say go with the Lina because you can use it for yeah. whatever and then you add Oriana yes. for those yes. sexier more playful moments. Good one. So uh, that's it for today. Please do comment with which of these is your favorite. Do you agree with the way we describe them or do you feel any other way? Comment. Yes and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to both me and Rotten Rebel and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.